Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Have you missed me? We're reviewing Sting of Death. And you the jella, the jilla jella jella. It's really swella to do the jella jella fish. There's nothing sadder than Hollywood trying to be down with the kids. Hey John, who's coming to the shindig? One little problem. We must retire to the patio to divide the loot, partake of some grog, and engage in some enjoyable dancing with the winches. Wow, as a teenager, I identify with this man in his 40s pretending to be my age. Hey, what do we do with him, leader? Let's hang him in the yard arc. We should, but we don't have one. They're bullying someone for being different. I do that. Cool. But of course, the teens pay a terrible price, which could not be any more clearly signposted. I'm on vacation. Let's live. If you're not, you'll kill yourself. That killed me. I guess you'll survive. She better not after all that. How is no one else at the party noticing this? When did that happen? A lot of this movie is reliant on the stealthiness of a man wearing a wetsuit and some bead curtains. And it is clearly a man in a suit, not some man-jellyfish hybrid. I won't bore you with the detail. It's the bully Egon getting his own back while the teens continue to foreshadow their own deaths. I left my cigarettes in the boat. Be right back. No, you won't. I'll be right back. Nor will you. It's like a nightmare. With the teens dead, the movie does, thank God, stop trying to be cool. Not for us senior citizens. And Egon is revealed as a troubled genius. They all said I was crazy. Who is in love with the lead scientist's daughter. You see, you don't like me. Making this sort of like the Phantom of the Opera. But with genetically mutated jellyfish instead of music. And you the jella, the jilla, jalla, jalla. Okay, there's some music, but I'm still trying to forget that. Stop it, just stop it! The problems are many. Dad, that's a nasty bump on your head. Uh, it's very strange, Karen. There's the fluctuating size of the bruise on the lead scientist's forehead. You'd better rest a minute. Going. Yeah, I thought he'd be here tonight, but... Going. Are you all right? It's back! Come on, take it easy. There's the fact that when they're above the water, they're very clearly in the Everglades, where the water is green and shallow. But the minute they go beneath the surface, they are equally clearly exploring a tropical reef. And Egon does seem to be killing people by smearing them with jam. But it doesn't really hit rock bottom until the end. You see, I thought this was going to be a movie about a half man, half jellyfish. Horrible. But then I saw the flippers. And I saw the gap between them and the wetsuit. I saw him using an axe. So clearly this was a man in a suit using the jellyfish stingers as weapons, which makes sense. No, I was right in the first place. He's a jellyfish man. With a blown up condom over his head. And the wetsuit is his skin. So horrible. Don't try to talk. All the weirder, because when he changes earlier... The wetsuit seems to be just a wetsuit. And that's not the only inconsistency. Um, why aren't his hands stinging as they have throughout the rest of the movie? Weirder still is that he seems to change by inhaling from some sort of jellyfish bong. So maybe there's a subtle anti-drugs message. Possibly. And those Hollywood squares are once again failing to understand their audience. Uh, young people from the university. Crazy. Crazy. Thanks for watching. Is being a half man, half jellyfish really the way to make girls like you? What animal would you turn into to impress someone you liked? Let us know in the comments below.
Don't forget to subscribe for a new bad movie review every Tuesday. When you can jell her and do the jell jell fish. Hey, help! Go after Catcher. She's hysterical.